not adjust your screens, your eyes does not deceive you. We are actually outside today because I feel like there's no better way to talk about what I think is one of the best and most likely the most affordable full frame vlogging setup there is. Let's get into it. Now, as far as what this kit consists of, it consists of the Canon EOS RP, the Canon RF 16mm 2.8, and the Rode Video Micro, all three of which I think are great and affordable budget and or entry level options. Now, some of the problems that this setup solves is one, it is portable, which helps to make it inconspicuous. You have an ultra wide angle lens, which is coupled with a full frame sensor. And with this microphone, the whole package is still less than $1,300. Now for me personally, there's only three issues I can really see with this setup. The first being the focal length and the 4K crop. This is a 16 millimeter lens, but with the 1.6 crop in 4K, it turns out to be about a 25.6 millimeter lens. So it is still wide, but not the ultra wide that we intended to have when we first purchased this. The second being the battery life. I think this battery is rated for somewhere between 250 to 400 shots. I don't know what that turns out to be in hours for recording time, but it could be longer. It's a L P17 battery. And the last, which I don't see to be that big of an issue, but the fact that this lens has a 43 millimeter lens thread, which means if most of your filters are larger, you're gonna need a very specific step up ring, or you're just gonna have to stack your step up rings to adapt those filters to this lens. And to my knowledge, the closest competitor to something like this would be the Sony ZV-1, the Sony ZV-E1, or the Sony A7C. And to my knowledge, neither the ZV-1 or the ZV-E10 are full frame, and the A7C is still somewhere around $2,000. Whereas something like this, with this portability and this affordability, can get you quality like this. So if you guys love the look of Canon cameras and are looking for a low barrier of entry into the full frame RF ecosystem, this may just be the way to go, but let me know your thoughts or your questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.